so my phone ran out of video space um so i had to delete things but um i finished off the blue read and if you hadn't been pushing it down a ton the whole time it's gonna look like this very very spaced out and not with a lot of room on the top so what you're wanna, gonna want to do now is just push down each row so that it's tight with the one below it and you can just go all the way around pushing each row down so that you can have a tighter basket So, once you've pushed all the rows down, there's one thing you might notice. Well, this top part will probably come off. So you're going to want to um, reweave it back through. It's also easier if you hold the reeds at the top which will make it easier to push down. Okay, I'm gonna just weave this through real fast. And I'm going to push down as I go for that one. Under. Okay. So when you get to the end, it should hold itself in place, just tuck it anywhere. Um, another thing you might notice is there's probably going to be two reeds where it goes over, over, under, under. That's perfectly fine as long as it's opposite the one below. The reason this is, is just because there's an even number of, of vertical reeds total. So there's no way of avoiding that. Also, if you have weird mess ups, that's perfectly fine. As long as the basket holds, it's a basket. So what you can do now is you can continue with the next blue reed. And what you would do is you'd find the place where the last one left off and just put it over top of the row and tuck it in and then keep going. Um, you know, you just continue re weaving, you pinch, look at the one before, see this one goes over, so for this one, you go under, and keep going. Um, or, if you want to finish, what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, soak it in the water, just, you don't have to soak it, just get it wet, and you're going to cut with your fancy scissors. You're gonna cut it the top piece so there's about an inch to half an inch left on the top. If it's too short, it will be difficult to fold over. And if it's too long, same, it'll be difficult. So about this long. And then what we're gonna do is for the ones where the reed goes under it, we're going to fold it over and just tuck it into the reed behind it. I'll show you what that looks like on this side. We'll just fold it over and tuck it in to a reed. And we're going to do that 
all the way around. So just fold and tuck it into a bead. And if there's ones that you can't get in, just cut them short. Again, as long as the basket holds, it's a basket. And once you've done all that, you'll have your finished square basket. Good job.